please state your name loudly and clearly for the American audience. John. Lorna. Where are you from, John and Lorna, if that is your real name? <laughs> Glasgow. Glasgow. Oh, Glasgow, Montana. <laughs> Glasgow, Scotland. Scotland. Glasgow, Scotland. Well, you two, what are you doing here in the United States of America? <laughs> We're on honeymoon. <laughs> that would explain... Wait, wait, wait. Wait. You don't know if they're enjoying it. <laughs> that would explain a Scotsman in shorts, certainly. <laughs> So, how do you like those fancy half trousers that you're wearing? I feel very free. Yes? Well, all right. Now you're from Glasgow. You know, I am originally from Glasgow in Scotland and was thrown out. <laughs> and you know why. <laughs> I hope. I was a little drunk and I'm unsure of why they threw me out. <laughs> You weren't drunk enough? I, well, I don't know if I was or I wasn't. I used to work, uh, you from the West End of Glasgow? Yes. I used to work in a bar in the West End of Glasgow. And you used to drink in it. I have done. I know you have because I remember you. <laughs> you didn't think that was happening, did you, John? <laughs> I did not. I remember you, John. I remember helping you one night, John. <laughs> You had difficulty leaving the bar, as I recall. Was that you? It was me. <laughs> However, let's let bygones be bygones. You give me the five pounds in Scottish money and we'll say no more about it. <laughs> I've only got English money. I don't care for that. As fat. <laughs> Are you enjoying your time in America? Loving it. Yes? Yep. And do you plan to stay married after the honeymoon? Hopefully. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Uh, you can talk that, but this is, I mean, it's a whole Los Angeles idea. You get married, you have the honeymoon, you go to rehab, you break up. <laughs> Different thing. I see you're wearing a Las Vegas uh, top. Yes. Did you go to Las Vegas? Yes. And uh, did you enjoy it? It was great. I, yeah. was, I was there. Uh, I'm not really understanding. Are you getting any of this? I don't understand. <laughs> what did you do in Las Vegas? Did you... Uh, Went to Grand Canyon. That's not in Las Vegas. That's <laughs> no, no, but we went from. Right, right. Uh, gambled and drank. Gambled and drank. <laughs> <laughs> Worth the trip then, wasn't it? <laughs> well, it's, really. I really, I really wish you. Uh, did you get married in Scotland? Yes. yes. And was it raining? No. Actually, no. What? No. <laughs> when did it stop? <laughs> Five minutes before we get married. And then you get married and then... And then it started again. I see. So it's all right. It's You're all good. It's all back to normal. <laughs> well, I, I'm delighted to welcome you uh, to America. No one knows about this particular part of America you're standing in at the moment. <laughs> but I wish you uh, a great joy and luck in your marriage and many things that are nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's difficult for me to be nice. I'm working through it. Uh, it's something I'm picking up in California, you know. Have a nice day. Yeah, how are you doing with a have a nice day? Not very well. No, I know. <laughs> Try New York. They're a bit more kind of... What's that coming to go? Uh, all right. That'll be couple. We'll be right back. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Expedia, where you book matters. Applause. 
just sort of dies away quite slowly and naturally and in no way rehearsed. <laughs> I've got a very passive-aggressive crowd this evening. You don't scare me, I'm from Scotland. Where passive-aggressive means romance. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody, isn't it? Is. It is. It is. It is, of course. It is, of course, Friday, but it's not just any Friday, it's Good Friday today, so if you celebrate Easter, Happy Easter, and if you don't, have a happy non-denominational holiday in your region. <laughs> today is also Earth Day, or as it will be known in 20 years, that planet that we used to live on until we ruined it then. If you want to celebrate Earth Day and Easter at the same time by using uh, marshmallow peeps as insulation, go right ahead, that's the way to do it. Marshmallow peeps taste like insulation. And insulation tastes like marshmallow peeps, so what you lose on the roundabouts, you gain in the swings. <laughs> do we have a graphic for Earth Day, do we? <laughs> now that's it, no. That, see, that's the graphic for our opening day for baseball, but we're doing our part by recycling old graphics. <laughs> Also, to commemorate Earth Day, we're only using half the lights in the studio this evening. We've been doing that every night since 2005. <laughs> Earth Day, of course, is Al Gore's favourite holiday. He hasn't been this excited since his last massage. I am glad, though. <laughs> you don't know? <sighs> Google it, for God's sake. Anyway. I'm glad that the planet Earth gets a whole day. It was just a matter of time. But the, the other planets are going to want a day, especially Uranus. <laughs> but Uranus deserves its own day because Uranus is beautiful. <laughs> Uranus positively glows. Sometimes when I look at the sky and there's a high cirrus cloud and it, it just looks like Uranus has been bleached. <laughs> It's official. I'm hoodie. <laughs> yeah, all right. Anyway, uh, of all the, uh, the days, Earth Day is only my second favorite day. Uh, my first favorite day is, of course, Doris Day, because <laughs> she taught me it was okay to wear pastel heels. <laughs> You're welcome, octogenarians. <laughs> Finally, a joke about Doris Day. <laughs> now I can embrace the icy stillness of death. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, that was too much. Anyway, today's the day we're supposed to clean up Earth. And we'll probably need more than a day, though. Maybe a long weekend. How about a week? Sharks get a shark week. Get an entire week for shark week. Uh, libraries get library week. No one in this studio remembers library week. It was so long ago. <laughs> library week, and then... Library week, shark week, poetry month, Earth day. <laughs> if only the planet could clean itself the way that cat cleans itself, you know, by licking itself. <laughs> if I could do that, I'd be sparkly clean. <laughs> well, well, you know, parts of me would be very clean. And I would never leave the house. The Industrial Revolution is what I'm saying. That's what really messed up this, uh, this planet. But we're actually destroying the environment less than we used to. I think that's because we're focusing on destroying the economy instead, which is a better way to go. <laughs> a lot of companies are becoming eco-friendly now, and I think that's great. Uh, and this is true. A company, this is true, a company that makes adult toys has just released a line of eco-friendly vibrators. <laughs> and I'm thinking... That's just a cucumber, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Like, oh, this is an eco-friendly... Uh, uh, and it makes your eyes look gorgeous. <laughs> Los Angeles is actually a very green city, which is ironic, because most people here are actually not biodegradable. Their boobs and their lips and their foreheads and stuff. <laughs> People are going to be, you know, in about 25,000 years, archaeologists will be coming around here, there's going to be everywhere. <laughs> By the way, that's a name I used to dance under. 
<laughs> of course, I've lost a lot of weight since then. <laughs> anyway, a lot. Of <laughs> I know. Sorry, everybody. Look, I'll say it again, and I'll put my black dot up. Hold on. There you go. <laughs> Everywhere. There you are. <laughs> Anyway, a popular green thing to do is to eat more local food. I always eat food that's closest to me, you know, like food that I find on my shirt or <laughs> that's down the side of the couch. <laughs> Only in the last few months, though, you know, if the pizza is blue, you know what to do. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> One green thing that you can do is keep a garden and you can grow stuff. You know, not just... <laughs> there's a... Uh, there's an old Chinese proverb that says, whoever loves a garden will have contentment within. Uh, that's lovely. What it actually means is, you know, have sex with vegetables. <laughs> so in our birthday, I'd like to recycle some pictures of sexy vegetables we've had before. Do we have the sexy vegetables from my... There you are, there's the, that one. And then the other one, there's the... Uh, yeah. That's so sexy, we have to pixelate it. Uh, so we may as well just show actual genitals then. Uh, any more uh, sexy vegetables have we got? Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Let me see that one again. <laughs> all right, uh, well, we have to take a commercial break. Uh, all right? During breaks, I think about sex. <laughs> You said that before. <laughs> During breaks, I think about the excellent products advertised on this fine network. <laughs> the place where I long to spend a lot of time in the future. <laughs> Craig, are you saying the opposite of what's true again? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> It's really, I, I should have gone, things were going so well, I should have gone to the commercial break. Now it's just, you know, it's wandering all over the place. <laughs> and we're over time now, and if I'd have just shut up and let you go to the commercial break with a robot saying the thing, we'd have been fine. But you know what? I can't. I can't do it. And why? Because inside somewhere, I'm still everywhere. <laughs> we'll be right back. Extravaganza. Egg? Yes, the egg earth day. I'm trying to conserve energy by not using the letter B. Oh, I just used it. Oh, well, I'll spot. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah! Hey, you gotta swear when it's earth day. That's one of the traditions of earth day. You go, come on, earth, you can do it. If you can do it, we're... Like you did go. <laughs> Uranus? <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? Tweet me, Craig. Tweet me real hard. I will tweet you hard, you bony bitch. Hot damn. Yeah! Play the jingle. Twitter. Criteria running across there and running back again could power a small town. <laughs> CBS cares. That was pretty good. We did it together. It's like we know each other. Oh, oh boy. Oh, yeah. All right. 
This is from Kimberly in Charleston, South Carolina. Who says, Dear Craig, one of my roommates walked into the bathroom today while I was in the shower, but she didn't close the door when she left. Should I do the same thing to her or just let it go? <laughs> I'm going to keep that one. perpetuating that stereotype that men were really into lesbians. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right, I am. Uh-oh. What, you actually like the idea of girls getting it on and you watching? Yeah! <laughs> That's right. I'm in that minority group. <laughs> this is from Nicholas in Dusseldorf, Germany. Who says... Oh, I better do it in a German accent. That's what I do when I get a tweet mail from Germany. Hey, Craig, I am a university student and in my last year of study. What should I do to make the last year more interesting? Oh, I don't know. Perhaps you could annex an area of the university. <laughs> for, for your own pleasure and enjoyment. <laughs> Craig, are you perpetuating a... Yes, I am! All right, this is from Deb in Boise, Idaho. I Idaho. Yeah. It's a European pronunciation. Deb says, Hey, Craig, my son was embarrassed by the Facebook account, uh, my Facebook account, so I've moved to Twitter under an assumed name. I've since overheard him saying that old people should stay off Twitter. Is social networking only for the young? No, on the contrary. I think social networking is for the old, because young people have got legs that still work and they can go out. <laughs> talk and interact with people, but old people can just go, hey. <laughs> I know, I'm a 21-year-old bi-curious woman. <laughs> Am I right, lesbian row? <laughs> All right, this is, uh, this is, well, it's a pretty good lesbian row tonight, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> All right, this is uh, from Joan in Birmingham, Alabama. Who says, Dear Craig, are there any crazy antics that occur backstage during the show? Please give an example. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. The one time this thing happened, it was awesome. Uh, <laughs> this is from... Uh, what do you mean crazy antics backstage? First of all, you'd have to have... Tootsie Fruitsie. Backstage. <laughs> That's not a backstage there. That's a corridor. <laughs> if you go out there, it's just outside. <laughs> Do you know one night, Chris Rock walked onto the show, he wasn't the guest, he just, he took a wrong turn at the door. Not, I'm not kidding. He took a wrong turn at the elevator and walked out. I was like, whoa, awesome. He was like, oh, I didn't know. But we were on the air, so we just kept it and used them as a guest. Best night ever. This is from Morgan and Helena in uh, Florida. That's a hell of a name for a town, isn't it? Helena! He says, hi, Craig, I work, the third late, uh, I work the third late night shift and it's hard to sleep during the day. Do you have any suggestions? Use a sleep aid, perhaps heroin. <laughs> CBS Cares. I'm joking, I'm joking. Of course you mustn't do that. <laughs> this is from Corrine in Wichita, Kansas. So I'll get through them all, I'll get through them all. She says, Craig, my wedding is in four weeks and I'm starting to get a bit of cold feet. Can you give me some comforting advice? Well, it's a decision you make now that'll affect the rest of your life. <laughs> this is from Melissa in Madison, Wisconsin. <laughs> who says, Craig, my one-year-old won't go, go to bed until he sees your show. Do you think you could go on a little earlier? <laughs> Not really my decision. <laughs> What are you doing, Craig? <laughs> this is from Carla in San Antonio in Texas, who says, Hi, Craig, my co-worker continues to steal the pens off of my desk. She promises to give them back, but never does. Can I just steal them back from her? No. <laughs> Two wrongs don't make a right. If we all stole pens, where would we be? P P Pennsylvania? <laughs> Pennsylvania? <laughs> My Lord! Craig, that's the worst joke you've ever done! No, not true. You should see the next five years of the show. Oh, one of my pictures fell over. 
Craig, you could have done that during the commercial break. I could have done, but I... Uh-oh. Didn't, did I? We'll be right back, everybody. tonight is an Oscar nominated actress that was me acting <laughs> but she is Oscar nominated and she's starring in a new film uh, cinema verite which premieres on HBO oh <laughs> well that's not TV is it <laughs> it premieres uh, April 23rd on <laughs> April 23rd on HBO please welcome the beautiful Diane Lane everybody Diane Lane. excited to see you and I see I was right to be look at you well thank you you look great you're very kind I, I, and you're very handsome too you said that well on television yeah we, I, no you said it with your mouth but your eyes were looking a little kind of scans yeah you were well you know across here perhaps oh what is that that's a snake cup it's something that us uh, gentlemen with the smaller penis used to overcompensate <laughs> We were just talking about my weenus backstage. Your weenus? Mm. <laughs> well, that's going to make the news. What's a, what's a weenus? I was told that it's this. Oh. When you straighten your arm, you don't want to do that. Well, you, it, because then you see your weenus. <laughs> it's late night, you know. Uh, uh, do I have a weenus? <laughs> <laughs> Let me help you with that. No, baby, I do yeah. not. Yeah. yeah. Oh, our, we touched our weenuses. <laughs> nice. Do you have any tattoos, by the way? Did you see that? Oh, my. Oh, yeah. That doesn't bode well for your weenus. No, yeah, it does. It's all in pieces. Yeah, but the pieces keep going and keep going. Oh no, they don't. Early days yet. I just sat down. I'm no. <laughs> where we're headed. If I had a nickel for every time I'd I heard a woman say that, I... <laughs> You don't have any tattoos, though, do you? No, no. Well, really? You surprised me. Really? No, not at all. Oh. Actually. Not at all. Okay. You're, an, you're an Oscar nominated actress. Ah, uh, yes. What did you get the good. nomination for? Uh, Unfaithful. Unfaithful? Oh, yeah. No, that was good, that. Thank you. Yeah, no, you're good in that. Do you know what else I liked you in? Uh, Secretary, yeah? <gasps> I've been warned. Okay, where are we going? I think there might be someone at the door, Diane. <laughs> Fun. No, that's that's the uh, uh, in person. The yeah, first, I finally met the, him in that's person. The, uh, that's the you know we had a we actually did this thing at Hollywood Park Racetrack. We had that uh, our secretariat race against the horse that played secretariat in the movie. How'd that go? Uh, ours lost. Oh. But with great style. Uh, yeah, and and over a very short space of time. <laughs> Do you, uh, do you do any horse riding in Cinema Verity? Oh. Your movie you no. came to talk about? I, I see what I did. It's not a Western. It's not? But um, I have, yeah, the last time I was on a horse, I was thrown. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. They saw something shiny in the bushes and oh, whoop, so they like went and I stayed. <laughs> it, was like a, it was like a cartoon. The horse was gone and I just went. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there was this moment where you hover. And it's all happening. You know, I got on my weenus, actually. The last time I... This is true. I show you. The last time I was on a horse. See that there, that scar? Oh, my. Yeah, look at that. that was That's a, real. Yeah. Mm. Can you see that there? Can you get... Look at all that. See that? That's falling off a horse. That must have been a big horse. Yeah, it was, actually. It's my horse, my own horse, Duncan. Oh. Yeah. He's Isn't a Clydesdale he a, horse. A Clydesdale. Yeah. He rode a Clydesdale? Well, not anymore. You must be bow-legged. They're very wide. No, they're big. Well, big. you know, I, I got ripped. Uh, I led you in no. the <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Pardon now, me. I, uh, no, I do like a bit of horse riding, me. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. But not so much in Cinema Verite. No Cinema Verite, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's Cinema Verite about then, Diane? Well, let's see now. Um, the Loud Family in 1973, I think it aired, was the first oh, yeah. American yeah. Family, yeah. was the name of the show, 
first people that allowed cameras in their life. The, kind of the first reality show. Well, right? it's interesting because the reality show became something, how we got where we are today is a whole other animal. Yeah, it's of not worms, really reality shows now. I don't think so. I think no, it's kind it's of an oxymoron, right? I mean, isn't yeah, it? It's like, it's like when they say amateur porn. They're not really amateurs. Everybody's a star. Yeah, they're not really amateurs, the people in the amateur porns. They're just ugly professionals. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, My and, husband is going to really enjoy this show. Oh, really? <laughs> And that's and that's and that's what the no I'm not saying cinema verite like oh, that. I'm no, saying no I mean, no no but that's what I'm saying is like the reality shows are just you know low paid actors now aren't they really um I don't even well if they have an agent I suppose they're an actor which means right. they're not a real person yeah that's right <laughs> doesn't it's all so complicated really right it's a little bit right so cinema verite anyway yes. this is so it's the story of the family that really allowed the cameras into their lives yeah and what happened for seven then? months 300 hours of footage was whittled down to 12 and it's interesting because I don't know it's a very complex situation this poor woman was trying to save her marriage and in fact wound up um, asking for a divorce on camera yes it really caused quite a stir yeah and that. yeah it was uh, talked about I remember being seven years old and everybody was up in arms about it. Yeah, I, I was being a child of divorce. I, I yeah. Well, I, I felt like I was in the majority in Manhattan. But well, it's it, there's a law of it now. I mean, I mean, I guess in 1973. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I don't know. I, I don't know. I was nine, nine. <laughs> Single digit. Yeah, I was nine. I was nine. I just got my first tattoo. <laughs> I no, I, I think that I think it'd be, it's fascinating though that because there used to be a kind of line drawn between you know uh, real life and what was on television, mm -hmm. and now there isn't really, is there? I mean, this show I was kind of like from a reality, reality show. shows. I really do kind of pull the sheets over my head. Really? I mean, except for hoarders and maybe some of those. You know, the, the rehab shows. More kind of outsider art ones. Get their act together. Yeah. I, I feel sorry for people when they when they allow that into. I don't know. I just I feel I know, because we make our living in front of the cameras. Can you imagine not having any off-duty time? Wouldn't that be? It'd be like doing this show. Every night. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Uh, I tend not. That's to, not must, enough of a perk. No, no. I, <laughs> I, if, if I had a nickel for every time I'd heard a woman say that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think that, no, it's quite interesting because I do this every night and I don't really, there's no real line for me anymore. I mean, not really. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting for what. No, no, no. It's like you let down the moat and I'm going to cross that. No, really. no, no. I mean, the, the bridge over the moat. No, right? no, it's fine. But you must answer my questions to yes. me. As long as I do it with that Scottish accent. Yeah, well, question the first. <laughs> Mouth Roll organ the or awkward pause? Uh, awkward pause. Oh, really? Mm. Oh, I'd like a, This is an Oscar-nominated Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> bring your A-game, Craig. Bring your A-game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you really know how to milk this. Oh, yeah. I'm taking lessons. I, did I interrupt it? I ruined it. No, 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 it's all right. Sorry. Let's do it again, let's do it again. Okay. And this time, the awkward pause has a sexual undertone. <laughs> you want to, isn't it, after all, Craig? Patty, I would never ask you to do that. But not telling the children. I need to do that alone. No cameras. But, Bill, you can film that baby. Me telling him to go to hell, never come back. Well, you can't see my tattoo. Look, there you can. Look, it's kind of creeping out of my shirt. Comes around here, comes around here, goes down there, and uh-oh. <laughs> Craig, does it? Yeah. 
My next guest is in the season premiere of Doctor Who, which is on tomorrow on the BBC America. <laughs> Take a look at this. Contemporary, very contemporary, cutting edge. This is from the space program. Stolen? What, by aliens? Apparently. But why? I mean, if you can make it all the way to Earth, why steal technology that can barely make it to the moon? Maybe because it's cooler. Look how cool this stuff is. Cool aliens. Well, what would you call me? An alien. <laughs> Please welcome Karen Gillan, everybody. Karen Gillan. Karen, I've yes. seen your television show before. <laughs> I know a little bit about it. So, you know, not many people do know it. I love Doctor Who. Okay. Uh, I'm so excited to meet you. It's a very oh, big deal. Thanks. Anyone who works in Doctor Who, I'm very... Because, you know, Matt Smith was here. He came on the show. Yeah, yes, he did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're Scottish, of course. I. Oh, I. Here, quickly. Take this back to Scotland. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Give it to my family. Okay. <laughs> Tell them you met me in an alley somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Which technically is kind of true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you enjoying America? Is this your first time here? Um, I've been here a couple of times before. Actually, we shot uh, the, the, the two opening episodes for this series of Doctor Who in Monument Valley in Utah. Utah? Which was very exciting. Very American Where Indiana there. Jones was what? filmed. Indiana Jones yes. was filmed there? Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there right. you are. <laughs> do you enjoy the Indiana Jones? I do, although I got a row the other day because I like the. I only saw the last one first and really liked it, and everyone was like, no, that's really. No, the, the, the Crystal Skull? Yeah, the one with the. The one, the, the last one with the crib, and everyone's like, oh, I'm Indiana Jones, that one? Yeah. <laughs> no, you have to see the first one where. I know. Uh, you know. And then the other one. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm really sorry. Uh, at least you're getting some advice. Yeah, yeah. How are things in Scotland? Have you been there recently? Um, I was there over Christmas. Oh. And they're great. Really? What I'm, part of Scotland are you from? I'm from the Highlands, Inverness. Oh, Inverness is beautiful. Yeah. What a lovely town Have that is. Have you been is. there? Yes, many times. Oh. I And I I spent a little bit of time in Inverness. And, uh, oh, and really? Yes, yeah. What I were you doing in Inverness? Yeah, what's the name of the theatre there in Inverness? Eden Court Theatre. Eden Court Theatre! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Really? Yeah, I stand up there and then they ran me out of town and I came back again. Oh my god, that's so cool. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I did a week there with a play. Oh, it was fun. And yeah, I... it's a nice theatre. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, yeah. Do you know once when I was flying in Inverness, my plane hit a seagull. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's terrible. It was, it was pretty bad for the seagull, oh, I can yeah, tell you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's anyway, you're, that's, <laughs> that's near Loch Ness, of course. Yeah, yeah. Have I'm you seen fine. the monster? Yes, yeah. Well, you have. Yeah. <laughs> I have. Have you all right there? Sorry. No, sorry, no. my no. Did you I'm get a, a, a shot for coming to America? A shot? No. All right. No. Are your arm okay? Yes. <laughs> have you got a bruise? Oh God, I was really hoping you would notice. You've got a bruise on your arm. I know, a massive one. What happened? Well. <laughs> I um I was trying to be cool in New York because we were just there promoting Doctor Who, right? right? And I fell over, <laughs> like right over, and it was so dramatic. Really? Yeah. You fell on something completely square. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I don't understand, but there it's we are. It's a very. What, what were you drunk? No, I wasn't. I promise. No, that's the saddest part about it. You were complete. Well, you're very tall, so when you fall over. Yeah, it's a long and I was wearing way, big know. heels, and I just yeah. went right over. <laughs> yeah. That happens to me some. Oh, really? Never mind. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you've seen, you've seen the monster. Now, do people ask you if you believe in the monster? Because I wouldn't ask you that. You've seen the monster. Yeah. Yeah. What did it look like then? It's big and green. <laughs> with humps. Big green with humps? Yeah. Did you just mime hump? Yeah. I'm regretting Karen, it I, I, I don't know how politically, politically... Do you know what's fine? I can't say it, so... Ooh la la! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Now, do you still live in Scotland? No, I live in Cardiff because that's Cardiff where we... Cardiff in Wales? Yes! <laughs> what? Because that's where we filmed Doctor Who. Oh, of course, yeah. Yes, right. so, um, so, and we filmed that for nine months of the year, so I live there for nine months of the year. And then where, where do you live for the other three months? In London. London, exciting, yeah. swinging London. Yes, it's Ooh. quite exciting. Do you have a Mini Cooper? What? What's a Mini 
Billy Billy Cooper. Oh, you the car. Billy Cooper. Oh, oh, no, no. You don't? I don't drive, actually. You don't drive? No. No, this is going to be difficult for you in America, then. Yeah, I just realized that, actually. Yeah, we drive here. LA. Except New York. You're all right in New York. Yeah, but right. everybody drives here. What's LA? And I, I went past a gym last night that was 24 hours. 24 hour gym? Yeah. yeah. And people were in it at like 10 at night. Well, a lot of these people are very high. And <laughs> They take a they take a drug called methamphetamine sulfate. Oh, okay, right. And what happens is they're like, oh, I've got to do something. Yeah, so they pound it out in yeah, the gym. They, I see. They pound it out. Okay. Uh, and <laughs> then they go to the gym. Yeah. <laughs> uh, come on, give me up here. Yeah. It's very nice to meet you. I haven't yeah. talked to a beautiful red-headed Scottish woman in way too long. Oh, I well, think. thanks. But, yeah, no, it's nice. <laughs> So, the Eden Court in Inverness. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever been to Edinburgh? I have. I lived there for a year. Did you? I moved there when I was 16, and it was really exciting. On your own? Yeah. Oh, no, nah, yeah. Karen. I know. My dad was so worried. Yeah, I'll bet your dad was worried. I'd, he'd be, I'd, be, I'd have you under armed guard. <laughs> and then you moved to London. How did you end up in the Doctor Who thing? Um, well, I, um, I just auditioned for it, actually. Really? Like any other job, yeah. And, um, and then got it unexpectedly. No, it wouldn't be unexpectedly to me. Oh. No, well, thanks. No, if you were auditioning for Doctor Who right now, you should be the doctor. They should have a female doctor, I think. Is that possible? Can you have a female time? Well, of course. He can, you know, he can, you know, change. Change it. into anything. Yes, I mean... Uh, so you could have an animal as the doctor. Oh, well, I don't know about that. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. No, I mean, you can go too far. <laughs> you upset me. I thought we were oh, friends. No, but no, I see we're not friends. <laughs> Well, that's an interesting. Well, yes, but were you a fan of the show before? Did you even know about it? Um, well, yeah, everyone knows about it in Doc the UK. In the UK, um, yeah. it's like a massive sort of cultural thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I knew about it, but it wasn't on while I was growing up. But my mum's a proper Whovian. Really? She's like obsessed with she it. She must weep every day with joy yeah. at the fact that. Uh... Yeah, she has Dalek bubble bath. Really? <laughs> I didn't know you could get that. Oh, yeah. You can get anything. Can I have that like bubble bath? <laughs> you can put it on here. Oh. Is it in the TARDIS? <laughs> Are we out of time? I just noticed the clock was out of time. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying any Crikey. attention to you. I'm sorry, we're completely out of time. Uh, Karen, we have to, we, we, the, what we do here to end each segment okay. is either an awkward pause or a mouth organ. How old are you? I'm 23. Take a mouth organ. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Can you play? No. Oh, no. How do I get into it? Oh, just, you know, rummage. What do I do? <laughs> Come on, you know. <laughs> that was a little too creepy, wasn't it? I'm sorry. It's all right. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. I was only. What? You can't On the Late Late Show, Matthew McConaughey, Tom Selleck, and Wanda Sykes. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> Sometimes people say to me, Greg, why do you put up with this network that doesn't give you a band or any promotion and makes you do your show in a basement? <laughs> I'll tell you why, because I just spent the last hour talking to Diane Lane and Karen Gillan and... <laughs> <laughs> and that's my job. <laughs> Oh, what's the coming to go? Sweet. <laughs> Good night, everybody.